Hi and welcome to my coronavirus video for children. I'm sure you've heard a lot about the coronavirus lately and probably you're already spending a lot of time at home because of the virus. Maybe you're wondering about things like what is a virus and what is so special about the coronavirus? This video should give you an idea about what a virus actually is, what it does and why everyone is talking about the coronavirus. Viruses are very small. The coronavirus is about a thousand times smaller than the thickness of a single hair. Hard to imagine, right? That's why they aren't visible with the naked eye. Physicians need special microscopes to actually see them. With these microscopes, they can see small hooks on the surface of the coronaviruses, which look like a crown. That is why they are called coronaviruses. Corona is the Latin word for crown. Now let's talk about viruses in general. Viruses are, as I said, very small and actually consist only of genetic material and an envelope. Because they don't have an own energy metabolism, no heart, no intestines, no muscles and no brain, they need a so-called host cell in order to survive and multiply. Without a host cell, they can survive for a little while, but they are basically unable to do anything. A host cell for a virus can be a human cell, for example. The coronavirus especially likes the cells of the human respiratory tract. For example, the throat, trachea and lungs. There it settles down on the surface with the help of its small hooks and then it can even enter the human cells. Once it entered the human cells, it uses the small organs of the human cells in order to multiply. Clever, isn't it? Unfortunately, these viruses are harmful to human cells, which is why some of them break down. In order to transport the viruses and the broken cells back to the outside, the body produces mucus. And then we cough up this mucus. Other viruses, for example viruses transmitting a cold, which especially like the cells inside your nose, make your nose running and blocked. But luckily, the human body has other clever strategies, apart from mucus production, to combat such invaders. It has its own army, lots of little superwomen and supermen, the immune system that fights against these viruses. With different immune cells, the body fights with many different tricks, which the superman and superwoman have in store, against the intruder. In addition, your body raises its temperature, as you probably know and have had a fever yourself already. At first, you get really cold and then really warm and you feel terribly weak. This is very uncomfortable for you, but the good thing is that some of the cells of your immune system, the superheroes, can perform better at higher body temperatures and you get well faster. So not only does the virus have clever strategies, but so does your body. But what is so special about the coronavirus and why is everyone talking about it? The special thing about the coronavirus is that it is very contagious and there's no treatment yet and no vaccination to fight against it effectively. Getting infected means that the virus is passed from one person to another. In the case of the coronavirus, this happens mainly through coughing. If someone who is infected has a cough, they infect other people through tiny droplets that are expelled from each cough. Therefore, it is very important to keep your arm in front of your face when coughing, so that others won't get infected. Unfortunately, some of the people who do not yet have a cough and do not yet feel sick can transmit the infection already. They infect other people with very fine spit particles when speaking. That is why it can be difficult to protect yourself and most helpful to have the least possible contact with other people. Another complicating factor is that the viruses can survive on your hand, for example if you cough into your hand. Many viruses can do this. When you shake someone's hand then, you will transmit the virus to their hand. If the other person then plays around with their hand on their face and especially touches their mucous membranes, for example the mouth, nose and eyes, then the virus is transmitted to another person. In everyday life, we constantly touch our face without even noticing it. Just try to not touch your face for 10 minutes. This is how every infected person transmits the coronavirus to two to three other people on average. If everyone continued to go to school and to work, where we talk and play with a lot of people every day, the virus would spread very quickly. For most people, and this is the good news, especially children, infection with the coronavirus is usually mild. Many children only have a slight cough and feel a little weak. Older people, such as your grandparents, or people who have other diseases can get very sick from coronavirus. 
Sometimes they even have to go to hospital and might even need ICU treatment. And because the virus spreads so quickly, it is important to slow down the spread to protect those who could get severely sick. So what can we do? To slow down the spread of the virus, we must all work together. You're probably already helping out by not going to school. Doing good has rarely been so easy, right? Maybe your parents are also already working from home. You also help by meeting as few people as possible, so it's best to stay at home completely. When you leave the house, for example when you go shopping with your parents, it's important that you keep as much distance as possible to other people, preferably two meters, that you touch as little as possible and that you wash your hands properly and with soap as soon as you get home. If we all follow these rules, we all help together to ensure that the virus spreads more slowly and that the hospitals, nurses and doctors won't get overloaded and that people at risk can be cared for as well as possible. Thank you for watching and listening. If you enjoyed watching the video, I'd be very happy about your likes. And of course, if you share the video with your friends. Bye, see you next time.